Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Unit of Jack. My name is WWW Deadman, but you already know that. Episode 26. Okay. <laughs> uh, Owens will age as lost and found outlet store. Okay. Thirty seconds to places. Donnie here. Thanks for joining us. How many people are you? Just me. All alone. Exciting. Type in your nomenclature, won't you? Yeah, I won't. Is that supposed to be a political statement? I'll yes. Take it from here. <laughs> now your name is Tickles. Just because. Perfect. Allow me to give you the instructionalizations. You will see a question. When you know the answer in serpitude, select the boutonniere next to it. Yep. There's a timer tickling away, so the more expeditiously <coughs> you buzz in, the more renumination you'll receive. Or surrender. We're almost at places. Ten seconds. Bye, Curious. Big check, please. Six. Five. Let's go to black. Three. Four. Taste the memory. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I've got a lot of emotional range. Angry! Depressed. Ecstatic! Cockney British! <laughs> How is Cockney British a fucking... Well, at least you won't come in second. Emotion. <laughs> and today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... The Owensville High School Lost and Found Outlet Store. Unclaimed items, discount prices. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Okay. Okay, let's get this show on the road. First down the docket, there's a war in my pants. If Excuse my boxer me? shorts were to stage a boxer rebellion like the one in China in the early 1900s, what would they be rebelling against? The introduction of foreign tidy whities restrictive communist thongs, the slavery of the jockstrap, or an underwear dictatorship? Uh, dictatorship? Well, there's no dictatorship in my underwear. Tell you the truth, it's more like anarchy. I have no fucking idea, I'm... Here's where the money is. The Boxer Rebellion was a rebellion by the Chinese against the encroachment of foreign influence. Just like okay. my boxers would rebel against the introduction of foreign tidy whities Yeah, I the have absolutely no idea about defense. history. My boxers would totally For the most part. The rear flank. At least not about history and that now, doesn't affect me. License to Lil. Age-wise, who's the Lilist? Lil Wayne, Lil Romeo, Lil Kim, or Lil John? Fuck if I know. I think you're a little dim. I so wanted you to pick this one. Born in 89, Lil Romeo is the youngest. And the only one I even ever heard about of those is Lil Wayne. Sadly, we lost one of the Lils when Lil Bow Wow changed his name to just Bow Wow. Because nothing proves you're a mature adult like calling yourself Bow Wow. Sure. May I introduce... Who are you gonna call in the morning? If the Ghostbusters proton packs could be jammed by a proton pump inhibitor, what might a clever ghost shove in there? A Tylenol, a Claritin, a Prevacid, or a Viagra? Uh, which one of those is blood pressure medication? Because I'm pretty sure that that's what... Like, I'm pretty sure it's not Claritin because uh, that's an... Um, that's an anti-allergic medication containing loratadine which I am currently taking because fuck Poland. P-O-L-L-E-N, not Poland. I'm not saying fuck that. Um, I actually have no idea. Prevacid and other drugs like Prilosec are Oh wait, mo wait a second, Proton. I'm an idiot. Of course, that is the correct answer I just gave. Um, 
a proton pump inhibitor inhibits the fucking um, production of of uh, stomach acid. Obviously, HCl is the stomach. Uh, stomach acid is also uh, uh, just general. Um, like, uh, what the freaking name for it? Hydro hydrochloric acid. Um, <clears throat> so we have like 0.1 molar uh, hydrochloric acid as our stomach acid. But of course you need a proton pump for that because H plus ions are what makes stuff acidic. Uh, H3O plus to be ex exact because obviously they get uh, freaking attached to water. But obviously H plus protons. Uh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I ha I have not been uh, working with stuff for too long now. Wow. A Prilosec could foil the Ghostbuster proton packs. <laughs> Unless their proton packs had Indian food for dinner. <laughs> Coming up next, doctorate in refreshment. And it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names. I swear I'm a chemistry, uh, a like... A Surgeon General of the United States, or the name of a Dr. Pepper knockoff brand. If it's a Surgeon what? General, press one on your keyboard. Since when are there Dr. Pepper knockoffs? If it's a Dr. Pepper knockoff, press the number two. Each one right earns you the prestigious award of 300 bucks. For each one wrong, 300 fizzes away. And you've only got 30 seconds. Sorry, doctor's orders. Cool, let's do it. Dr. Bold. Dr. Coop. Dr. Shaft. Dr. Sack. Dr. Elvis. Dr. F Dr. Ben. Well, that was 23 flavors of mediocre. I'm just gonna say, there is no Dr. Pepper knockoff brands in Austria. We don't have those. We hardly have Dr. Pepper to begin with. Like, I guess the stuff doesn't sell here or something, I don't know. I always wondered what would have happened if Dr. Pepper never got such a high education. Hard to imagine I could be drinking a United States Senator Pepper right now. Where's the bomb, girl? Rock my world. Or just I call uh, this Mr. One Pepper. Don Draper, the dweeb. How would Mad Men's John Hamm most likely have gotten teased as a youth? You're pretty skinny for a pork belly. Hey, it's Porky the pig's ass. What's wrong? Need a pig shoulder to cry on? Or it's time for a piggyback ride. Ham? Ham consists of the rump and back thigh of a pig. If I ever encounter John Hamm on the street, I know exactly what I'll do. I'll just stare at him for a brief moment and then say, That'll do, John. That'll do. <laughs> that about does it for round one. I have no That's idea who John Hamm is, by the way. Well. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And the wrong quest of the game. Remember, the wrong still there. answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. <laughs> all right, you ready? Too bad. Open wide for He's a Willionaire. You see the Karate Kid remake with Will Smith's kid? The original no. is so much better. Will Smith getting his kid a bunch of starring roles in Hollywood movies is an example of what? Nepotism, nihilism, cronyism, or pacifism? Uh, nepotism. Nepotism is when you give special favors to members of your family. And since Will Smith is a producer of the Karate Kid remake, it's possibly pulled a few strings. Also, holy crap! It's been that long since that movie? This game came out in 2011. It's almost been 10 years. Nine years, really, but... It's almost been 10 years. And I feel like I should get this off my chest. 
Well, this is hard. Okay, so my dad was my Weeblo Scouts leader, and he gave me a bowling badge, and I never even went bowling. <sighs> Question this one's known as Chair Dopeball. If Homer Simpson caused a nuclear meltdown at the Springfield nuclear power plant, what would not be a result of his radiation sickness? Throwing up the 20 donuts he ate? Losing his three pieces of hair? Dropping from a 60-inch waist to a 40-inch waist? Or developing a brighter yellow skin? Um, he probably wouldn't lose weight, but... Since that's the first question to have any loss in it with the hair loss, and hair loss is definitely a symptom of, of uh, nuclear sickness, of, like radiation sickness, I kind of want to go for that just in case it is the wrong answer of the game. Prepare Fuck. To some dope. Want to see the answer? Because lost and found. Discoloration of the skin is a result of radiation poisoning, but the skin turns red, not yellow. Yeah, because it's a radiation burn. Radiation poisoning can also cause humans to give birth to cows, which totally ruins Bart's catchphrase, don't have a cow, man. Blood and chicken picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Say hello to... TV needs more mediocre ideas. Ooh, I love order. It's the put the choices into order and buzz in and see if you are right. Since these order questions can be kind of tough, and since I'm such a nice guy, you get a thousand dollar bonus for getting this right. Put these TV show series spin-offs in order from least time on air to most time on air. Baywatch Nights, The Apprentice, Martha Stewart, Joey. The Apprentice, Martha Stewart, Baywatch Nights, Joey. Baywatch Nights, Joey, The Apprentice, Martha Stewart, Joey, The Apprentice, Martha Stewart, Baywatch Nights, or Joey, Baywatch Nights, The Apprentice, Martha Stewart. I have no fucking clue. Come on, Martha Stewart was in jail longer than her show was on the air. Now pay attention. The Apprentice Martha Stewart aired for 13 episodes, Baywatch Nights for 44, and Joey for a whopping 46. Hey, what about a show called Baywatch Lunch? And it would just be Pamela Anderson eating various delicious meals. Take a stab at Fierce Creatures. What would Heidi Klum, host of Project Runway, call the show in her native tongue? Proyecto Pista, Project Landebon, Project Briyuki, Shastlivi, or Project Pay Unway Ray? Project Landebon. I'm in Germany, and Project Landebon is how she'd say Project Runway in her native tongue. Although that's a run, that the runway you translated there is a runway for planes. The runway you're um, uh, referring to in Project Runway, which is a fucking modeling show as far as I remember, uh, would be just runway, because we don't actually have a separate word for that. Catwalk, maybe, but that's more uh, colloquial. And also present in English, so... Heidi Klum, you can bring your native tongue around any time. Let me never let me go. This one's called Madden is Hell. If John Madden could only announce primetime football games using only prime numbers, what score could he announce? 9 to 12, 24 to 13, 31 to 17, or 41 to 33? 31 to 17. 31 and 17 are both numbers that are only divisible by one and itself. Therefore, they're both prime numbers. Yep. My dad had a similar disorder, except he couldn't say the word son and love in the same sentence. I wonder what was the wrong answer of the game. Welcome to the attack. Oh, you know all about the attack. Lovely. Here's your clue. All the married ladies. Try not to have any misses. Get it, misses? Good luck. Syrup lady. I have no fucking clue. Huh?
No fucking clue. I feel like you're hitting me with a whole lot of American exclusive branding right now that... Virginia Wolves? Uh, that would be Mr. Outfire. Mr. Outfire, definitely, yeah. But yeah, for, for that, for example, definitely, that's some uh, very, very US exclusive um, branding there for some sort of company that doesn't exist outside the US. I have no idea what that would even be referring to. So yeah, um, no fucking clue what we're talking about here. That's all she wrote. What? Are you expecting me to congratulate you? I only nah. celebrate greatness. In other words, I only celebrate once at a Clay Aiken concert. You don't know Jack. Good job, everyone. Donnie, what okay. are you doing? All right then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceeding? No, not really right now. Market for a new used band. When you think fans, think fans, fan bands, fan lot. Hello, I'm Vance, Van Vans, and I sell the sweetest vans in the city. They've got eight track players, water beds, airbrush murals, beaded curtains. Hey Vance, what's that weird burning smell? Never you mind that kid. You'll understand when you're older. Hey. Okay, my vans don't come with satellite radio and GPS and la di da, but they do have character, character. and carpeted carpet walls. walls. So, when you think vans, think vans, van, vans, van lot. Conveniently located down by the old abandoned airport that's probably haunted. You know the one. And remember, if vans, van, vans, van lots are rocking, be sure to stop in and buy a van from me, vans, van, vans. Okay, um, I'll see you for the next one next week. Till then, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And until next time, I'm Dr. Dadman.